Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're so cute. Cool. I gave all Oh my gosh. And like, don't look at them ever. Hello, my name is Chandra Alco and I am the current director of Parks and Recreation with the City of Port Arthur. Today, we are here at Bryan Park, known by the local community as 503. We have been so graciously given the opportunity to partner with Sparkling Ice to give a brand new refurbished basketball court as you see here. Sparkling Ice, as you see behind me, has came and they have given a brand new look with brand new colors here at the park and we are just grateful and excited to have them. We'll have an unveiling and a ribbon cutting of the park today at 10 o'clock a.m. But we will have Jordan Babineau coming out to speak with us, as long as several uh, city officials, the mayor, and other dignified guests to come in with the celebrations. We have food trucks out here. We have moonwalks, the activities for the kids, a few little items. So we're inviting the community to come out and enjoy this festive and new addition to the city of Port Arthur. Nicole Malazzo, project manager of the Sparkling Ice Cheers to You Beautification Project. Michelle Greco, project manager of the Cheers to You Sparkling Ice Beautification Project. We are here today to celebrate Port Arthur for our second annual Sparkling Ice Cheers to You Beautification Program. We kicked this off last year during the pandemic where we found three small towns across the country um, to beautify their Parks and Recreations Department. And we're so excited to be here for Port Arthur today um, and to celebrate all things with our new basketball court at Bryan Park. Yes. Um, early this, earlier this year, we found out about Port Arthur. Um, there has been a lot of devastation here due to some hurricanes. Um, so we reached out to the Parks and Rec Department here in Port Arthur um, and found out that they needed to revitalize this basketball court here in Bryan Park or 503 Park as everyone calls it here and knows and loves it. Um, but yeah, we're here today to unveil this beautiful basketball court right behind you. Um, we're gonna have a ribbon cutting ceremony. We're gonna have inflatables, food trucks, Kona ice, um, DJ, face painting. Um, so yeah, it's it's a great event for the community here. We welcome all members of the community to come out today and celebrate Port Arthur. We are giving away free t-shirts. We are giving away sparkling ice. We have a ton of swag bags for the community. We have food trucks and so much more to celebrate everything Port Arthur. Um, thank you everyone. We hope to see you out here today and happy holidays. And for more information, and for more information visit sparklingice.com slash cheers to you. Good morning, my name is Pauline Camo. I work for Parks and Recreation, City of Port Arthur. I'm a rec tech. And today we have sparkling water out here. They're doing a, a promotion for the Brian's Park, formerly 503. And we have some nice backpack bags. Inside the backpack bags, we have a nice sparkling cup to keep your sparkling water cold. We also have some headbands for sparkling water. We also have a face mask, and we know everybody needs face shields now. And we have a straw, and we have a cleaner to keep your straw clean. It goes with your cup. And then we have the backpacks. And this is all giveaways for everybody that's coming out today to celebrate our grand opening for Brian Spark from Sparkling Water. What's going on? This is your girl, DJ Keena. And we're live out here right now in Port Arthur, Texas, doing something really big for the city, uh, teaming up with Sparkling Ice in the city of Port Arthur. And uh, it's such a pleasure to be out here doing something great for my city. Uh, if you want for, for more information, just uh, get at me on Facebook, DJ Kena Smith, and on Instagram, at DJ Kena number three. So uh, what you gonna be playing today? Oh, we're gonna be playing a little bit of everything. Kid-friendly music, family fun music, it's gonna be a good time. You got any holiday music? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jacoby Davis, Memorial High School, class of 2004. I'm here today on 503. We are christening the new court. We're bringing love to the community. I want to send a shout out to everybody in Port Arthur, Texas, wishing them a happy holiday. 
We want to sit here and see everybody come out and just enjoy and love this new atmosphere, this new court, these new goals. We want you guys to just love one another, enjoy one another, be there for one another. Happy holidays. And I just need for you to sign that right there, let me know the release for you. Right. And we are here. Right here too. And look, the pen over here. Pen over here. We got a pen right there. Good morning, everyone. My name is Harry Savalle. I'm a currently a rec tech, one with the Port Arthur Recreation and Parks Department. Uh, right now, we're out here at this family event, uh, Sparkle, Sparkling Ice, along with the city of Port Arthur that's came together to do the re reunification of the park. And uh, we're setting up now at the scores table, getting ready for the 303. The guys are setting up, seeing some of the teams, filling out the forms. Uh, we're here just to make a community event. I really want to thank the participants for coming out to participate with us. It was nobody but of God. We got a great boss also, Miss Shonda. And uh, we just want everybody to come out and support what we got going on. You know, this is only uh, for the kids of tomorrow. So with, um, with God's blessing, if y'all not doing nothing, come on, bring out the family, as you can see. You got the jumpers out for the kids. You got the nice setups. You got the balls going on. It's going to be a nice event. Just come on out and support the city, and everybody have a blessed morning. Blessed day. Love y'all. P.A. Today, my name is Kristen Smith, and I'm up here with the Cheers to Port Arthur. Today, we're unveiling a new basketball court, and today that I am offering the community a 360 booth. You want to come out? Get your 360 on? You can come on here. And for more information from me, you can contact me on Facebook and on Instagram at Chris, that's with a K, dot productions. And that's to spell it as K R I S P dot productions. Get at me, okay? Get back to this call. That was a good one. 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 That where are you headed? Hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm headed over here to go talk to one of Port Arthur's finest. We have Mr. Babino here. Look, hey man, a young man is doing a great job, and I'm so glad. And an athlete. So this athlete right here. Get that ball. See, I want the ball. I want the ball to hit you right here. It's that round ball. You see what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about this round ball. But see, you know, we taught you about football. Kind of a good move. What's up, man? Thank you, man. Hey, man. Look at that. That was a football field. We used to play in that field, too. Man, look. When they move the house, the kind of thing. That's all they did know we talking about. And I want all y'all here in the morning. Say it again. We all out there, man, about 80 o'clock. And your Jordan. Yeah. We have the mayor. We have city council members, council member Frank, council member Moses. We also have some very important people that we will introduce later. Other than that, besides the citizens, you're just as important as everyone else. So without any further ado, I want to welcome the mayor to come up and say a few words. Thank you, thank you. Uh First, I'd like to say good morning, Port Arthur. Yo, yo, yo. And when you look at this, what sparkling ice has done for us here in the city of Port Arthur, we want to thank you all for even making this investment in our community. And the proper name is Brian Park, but I've always called it 503. And if you really wanted to play on the west side, you played at Sacred Heart. And on the east side, you played at 503. Yes. Now, that was back in the day, because I'm an OG where, you know, you understand? All right? But I would like to say I am totally happy as I speak for my citizens, the citizens and my colleagues here. We have Mayor Polk and Frank, who's already been 
is what we do in Port Arthur. You know, we actually cultivate, we bring about individuals of means. And you are doing that, not here in Port Arthur, but you are doing it all over the United States. Where we have a, you see the book writer and all these other things, what we call them an author, but you know, on the West Side, we call you a book writer. Look, we appreciate you, man, all right? And I'm proud to know of all of the things that you're doing here. And again, Sparkly Nice, I'm gonna continue to buy your products. I've always bought them. But now I will buy even more after I drink what you've given me today for free. Good morning. Uh, always good to be on, always good to be on. Y'all may not know it, but I'm always watching. Curious what's happening in my city. The city of Maiden, the raising, taught me a lot about life, a lot about perseverance and resilience. You guys are a resilient group. Don't ever let nobody tell you different. We can go anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, and we can adapt, and we can thrive, and we can win. Thank you, Sparkling Ice. Nicole, my wife's not here, but she nominated Port Arthur. And um, I'm appreciative and grateful that Sparkling Ice and the company decided to invest right here in Port Arthur. I don't know. Maybe we have at some point had something like this in the past, but it feels different. And uh, I can't say that I love each and one of you enough, and I love this city, and I love everything that's happening, and we will continue to persevere through hard times, through good times, ups and downs. You know me from growing up on the west side, Port Auburn, young, bad, <laughs> but uh, I figured something out. I figured something out, and one of the things that I, I'm inspired to do now is to share it share those attributes, those skills, those lessons, those things that I was taught growing up in these times and growing up in this city that I hope to share with other people and I hope that in some way that the things that I'm doing to inspire others, to help build community and to, to create impact also inspires the next generation. So I want to say thank you. Thank you guys to all of the players. Obviously thank you Mayor Barty, your staff, Chandra, and what you guys are doing. And uh, let's play ball.